Hi guys. Um, yeah, so this is the first time I've really done. Well, I did something like this recently for Paul, but this is the first time I've um, done one for everyone. So you have to bear with me. This is going to be just a short tutorial on how to do some basic, basic stuff in OBS. Now. There are two types of OBS. We have OBS Studio, which you can see here, and we have Streamlabs OBS. Now, both applications are identical. Okay? One is just a little, I think, personally, has a better UI. But for today's lesson, <clears throat> we will be looking at OBS Studio. Which is this one, which I think the majority of you have or are currently using. So, to start with, once you've loaded up your OBS Studio, you should be greeted with this beautiful black screen. And if we scroll down to the bottom here, you will see scenes and sources. Okay, very simple. The scenes are what are shown on screen and the sources are the items and the pictures and the movies and the clips and the text that you use to put into the scene. So this is your Word document. This is the text. Okay. So we'll start off very simply. We're going to make a brand new scene. So you go down to the bottom left. Click the plus icon and we're going to call this Virtual DJs Scene 1. In fact, the Virtual DJ is loading. Okay. All right. So now, as you can see, we have a new scene on the bottom here Virtual DJs loading. So now we think, what should we add to it? So we go to the sources section now because we want to add some cool stuff. So let's go to the add button. Now as you can see, a variety of different options appear here. We have things like audio input, display capture, game capture, images, text, so on and so forth. What we're going to do first is we are going to add a media source. Now a media source is like a video image. Okay, so it's your MP4s, your MOVs, and things like this. So we're going to call it a name, so we give it a name first of all. We have create new selected at the top and we're going to call it loading video. And then we will go OK. Then this screen will pop up and we need to find the location for it. Alright, so just have a look. So you click browse, scroll down. Doo -doo -doo -doo. See if there's one. Ba -ba -ba. Okay, here's one I found earlier. So I found this particular image. I click browse, search for it, found it, and I'm going to click loop. Let's see, it's button there, loop. And then I'm going to click OK. As you can see, it's massive. So I'm going to click it. And you'll see this red line outside there. Obviously, this is where you can click, drag, shrink, move it back, click, drag, shrink. And I'm going to place it into my screen. Okay, there is my moving video background. And I'm going to click down here in the sources section, I'm going to click. The padlock which is going to lock it into place now no matter what i do i cannot move this image okay nice and simple next we're going to think okay we've got our background image we want to add some text yeah because why not so we click the little plus icon here in the sources and we're going to add some text there's obviously no text programmed in already so we're just going to go create new and we're going to call it loading text 
Okay. And here we are, we're struck with the beautiful grey box. We're going to select a nice font. Let's have a look. Let's go with that one. So as, as you can see, I just click select font, pick the font I want. I'm going to call it loading screen. Okay, so I've typed the box text into this box and I'm going to click OK. Once again, you'll get the red lines on the outside which you can move, place wherever you want on the screen and you'll set. Okay, wherever you want. Over here, over here. And you can click off it. Once again, I don't want them to move, so I'm going to click the padlock. Alright, next we're going to add a picture. So we're going to add the plus icon, scroll down, image, we're going to call it logo. Okay, image file comes up again, browse, it's going to move there, just for obviously privacy issues. Um, let's have a look. Do, 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 do. I'm going to use. Use my logo for today. Let's find it. Okay. So once again, get it, shrink it, place it, drop it, click off, lock it. Okay. So now, as you can see on this particular screen, we've got an active moving video, we have a loading screen, and we have this. Now, I know you like. Okay, add what else do we need now? We've got everything we need there. And I'm saying no, we need to add something more. We'll go down back down to the sources section, click the plus, and then we will go to video capture device. Okay, so this is your webcam. Yeah, so you can leave that as that, or you can type in webcam. Okay, webcam comes up. Now I think because I have it enabled on my Streamlabs, it's not going to show my webcam on here. So we're going to just leave it as that for now. And then we'll click OK. And what you will do is you will get a box that will appear, which will have your webcam in like so. You place it and then click lock. Same again. Now, I'm just going to get rid of the webcam I've just changed my mind I don't feel aesthetically pleasing today so I'm gonna go down to the webcam think I don't want that one and I will click remove are you sure you want to remove the webcam yes okay now next I'm looking at this and thinking okay so I've got this 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 pretty happy with that I want to add something else so if we go down to add here so look what we've got. Do -do 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 -do. I'm gonna add another image. So this is gonna be called logo two for now. Browse. So let's just say you're running an event or something, yeah? Some kind of special event. Here we go. And then you can place it, put it down. This is a GIF image, by the way. I'm going to plug that on there and then go down the bottom, lock it. Now, we don't want to use this image right now, so we're going to save it. We're not going to take it off or delete it, but we're going to save it for another day. But we don't want people to see this because right now on this screen that you can see, this is exactly what show, would show up in Mixcloud or Twitch. But we don't want the happy pride there, not for today because we're doing that set tomorrow. So we get down to the eyeball, click the eyeball, and it's no longer seen. It's still there, because if we click the eyeball, it goes back. Bop, 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 bop. Okay. Now, for the purposes of how this works, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to unlock to the Happy Pride logo. Put it right there in the middle. And I'm going to lock it. And I'm going to get my logo, unlock it. Move it, put it there, 
and unlock it. Now as you can see my logo has disappeared. That is because on this sources section down at the bottom, this is very important, down on this section, whatever is at the top is what is shown on the front of the screen and everything underneath is placed behind it. So the first layer is this logo, second thing is my logo, then it's the text, then it's the video. So if I want to bring my logo to the front, I take that, drag it and place it above it. And as you can see, my logo has now appeared. If I wanted the video for some weird reason at the front, I would drag it all up to the top. As you can see, it's at the top and now you can't see nothing else because it's in front of everybody else. But we don't want that. Put it all the way to the back. So they're like layers. Okay, bits of paper stuck on top of each other. Images, one at the back, and then as you add other ones to the sources, they all appear on the front. So we're going to just move him back. And we're going to unlock this one and move this to the side. Okay, nice and simple. So this is going to be our loading screen for now. Okay. Next up, we're going to add another screen. Uh, scene. So we're going to have our main screen, yeah? So we're going to click Add. This will be Main Mix Cloud Twitch Screen. So this will be the one maybe you will have this one on while it's loading and you're giving people a chance to turn up to your stream. And then once you're live, it'll be this one. So let's add some stuff. Go into the plus. We're going to go down to media source. We want live um, image. Okay. Browse. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to go back down here. Then we're going to have, let's have this one. So I found an image. Once again, you click loop. Okay. Resize it because this particular image I've selected is like massive. So I'm resizing it to the size of my screen. Remember, this black area here is your actual screen size. So now I put that on and I'm going to lock it. I'm going to add, I'm not going to add my webcam because, once again, like I said, it won't work because I'm recording in OBS um, image. Now, I've already got logos on here already. So I'm actually going to click Add Existing Logo. OK. And there's my logo. And I'm going to lock it. Lovely. So now you see we've got a nice background image again. Nice logo on there. And then... Gonna add some locks in here. What's that in? No, we'll just add some to some text. We're gonna add some new text, so it's gonna be live. Okay, select font. Let's give this one. And then lock it. Now, what? Obviously, on this screen, you could have um, your webcam. You could have your Images, you can have borders, pictures, anything you want. Now, the beauty is, and I've noticed with a lot of people, there's this lovely little thing called studio mode, the bottom right here. If we click this, the screen splits into two. So we're going to click this virtual loading. I'm going to put it on. So now, everything that is on the right hand screen here is live okay so whatever you're streaming or showing this is what people will see on this one on the left this is what people will see once you click this button in the middle called transition so as you'll see with some streams you'll see like just loading and then as the stream starts it will transition over and then people will see this one. This is quite useful for the following reasons. 
Say for example, there's an issue with your screen and you wanted to change something. You could have your the one you want to change here. This one's still live. And we're going to add something quickly. Add image. We're going to add our logo here. Now as you can see, it's not on this screen. Yeah. And it won't be on the screen until we click transition. So this is what everyone can see. We click transition. Now everyone will see, boom, this. This, for whatever reason, let's say it's glitching out, not working, lagging your stream, who knows. So we think, okay, we need to take it off. We just go onto it, click the subtract button. You sure you want to remove it? Yep. Yeah. Transition back, it's gone. And then we can, if you want to go back to the loading screen, we just select loading screen on the scene. And then transition. Remember, whatever is on the right, people see whatever is on the left is your editing workspace. And that sometimes is a nice way to have your stream so you can do stuff on the fly if you need to. Okay. So this is very simply, you have scenes down the bottom left. So these are what everybody can see. And the sources are the images, the pictures, the movies, the clips, the sound, everything on here. Okay, this is going to be the first video. I'm going to do a second one with about settings and stuff like that in a minute. Um, but this is just basic how to use OBS and add stuff. Hope that helps. If you get stuck, then drop me a message. Alright guys.